I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Capricorn, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this three of wands and it's with the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles. Well, this is telling me that your person, they wanted success with you. King of Pentacles is all about success. Yes, they could have wanted to make the, con make the connection more stable, more secure, more committed. Yeah. And it looks like for some of you, you got on board because it's with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands, the card above the word pass. It's about making a decision. You're looking forward with growth and expansion. You've made a decision. You feel like your ship has finally arrived and you're going forward. Yeah, so some of you, you made a decision to get on board with this this person and yes they wanted they wanted success with this connection with you for some of you you were dealing with your same sign with the nine of pinnacles here you could have been dealing with a Taurus a Virgo or a Capricorn but let's move on over Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. So we've got this three, seven of pinnacles and it's with the page of swords. Now the seven of pinnacles is the card above the word present. This is about reaping what you have sown. It's about putting in the work and reaping the rewards yeah so your person they were really willing to work on this connection but there is a but we got this page of swords here yeah you could have felt like your person was not on your maturity level this person could have been a drama king or a drama queen because the page of swords can bring can be the type that would bring conflict it could feel like this person is stepping on your toes or they could be trying too hard or pushing too fast when you hear the word page in the tarot that can indicate youth a student immaturity or maybe this person was just younger than you they could have been younger by a few days a few months a few years and for some of you yes a few decades so you felt like this person was just like I said not on your maturity level but they wanted to get this connection right they wanted to work really hard so that the connection could make it yeah but you you felt like there was a problem maybe an age difference just some things they do that you just didn't appreciate but let's move on over and let's take a look and see what the challenge is sorry I got some distractions here okay anyway the challenge we've got this it's a seven of wands the card that's above the word challenge and it's with the nine of wands so the seven of wands is indicating that your person 
um, they want to be the last man standing with you. They want to come out on top. They know that you got some hesitation. Um, but it looks like they want to prove to you that they, they're willing to work hard just to get this right with you. They want to come out on top. They want to be the last man standing. That seven of wands, the card above the word challenge. This man, he's standing on top, that's for sure. And there's some people trying to get up there where he is. I don't know if you can see that, but he's knocking their heads off with this wand. Your person wants to make sure nobody else gets up there with him. Your person wants to win this connection with you. This can cause you some anxiety and maybe sleepless nights because we got the Nine of Wands here. Yeah, Nine of Wands, you might feel like building a wall. You might feel like closing yourself off to this. Yeah. But they do want to win. So don't be surprised if they... They come across as trying to work really hard just to either either get you back or to have something with you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got this three, wait, one, two, that's a five of swords. I'm sorry, I got new cards here, so it takes me a minute to, to pick up the energy and See, that that's a five of swords, so there's mixed feelings. You got mixed feelings, Capricorn, about what to do. Um, this five of swords can be about some type of conflict or fighting. Yeah, you got mixed feelings. You could be wanting your person to show you that they have something to offer. Because it's with the three of pentacles, the card below the word outcome. Three of Pentacles. Um, you see how this man, he's working really hard on what he's doing. This could be what, he's, what he does for a living. The card that's below the word outcome. And these people are watching him like, wow. You need your, you want this person to maybe impress you with something. Um, offer you something show you that they they can benefit you in some way because you got mixed feelings you feel like they are all about conflict or they're all about um, this page of swords they're all about some type of um, being like a drama queen or a drama king so you need them to show you something three of pentacles is here it can be about benefits you're looking for something more from this person you need them to show you something show you some some collaboration maybe teamwork maybe yeah you want them to offer you something and impress you with something because you feel, you got mixed feelings. You feel like this person is just not at your maturity level. But they they're, they could be telling you that they want to work hard on this. They do want to win this connection with you. They want to be the last man standing for you. So Capricorn, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those, so... Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope you come back and join me for the next Capricorn reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. 
Also keep in mind, the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they can be you. And the readings are not gender specific. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So, Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. I can never say that enough. Thanks for almost getting me up to, almost getting me up to 50K. Almost. Thank you so much for my subscribers. And my watchers, I really appreciate all of you. So I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.